Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is there, your love interest, two feelings for you right now. Hi, right, my darlings. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like the person reading, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so let's jump right in here. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so. How does my Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And I'm going to cover a lot of different aspects on this Pisces. So if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Oh, we start out with the tower, which is what I was just talking about in multiple readings today about the fact that the... Um, the lunar eclipse is coming up around May 15th, and man, in the monthlies, there were so many tower cards. So many tower cards. We are back into eclipse season. One of the things I can tell you guys, eclipses really do affect your life, okay? So in your current situation right now, something very shocking and surprising is about to happen, okay? Seven of Pentacles shows me that there has been some time invested into a situation or somebody wants to invest time in the connection, Seven of Pentacles energy. And we see your focus right now needs to be on holding on to a situation for Pentacles energy. In the past, it looks like there could have been somebody from work or school here with the Eight of Pentacles energy, or there was a work-focused situation going on with the Eight of Pentacles energy. The block, it seems to be in your situation, the sense of confusion and like a lot of emotions going on here. So also could be something hidden about this with the, the moon card energy. I'm going to have to see exactly how that comes together. So let's, let's clarify further. Let's use this deck this time. All right. How does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's this tower card about? Okay. So yes, you're going to receive some kind of surprise, something of value here, okay? This is like the gift card energy. So you're going to receive something, okay? And let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is about. There may be a lot of self-doubt here, but there's been time invested in this situation. And also, we see that there could be something transactional here, okay? Um, this is also, I don't want uh, to be made a fool of, okay? All right that kind of energy and we see in the past something did happen here that you weren't expecting when it came to work or school with a, a situation here with a person and it looks like there's some kind of complacency which is part of the blockage here in the romantic love life at the bottom of the deck there's an obligation here to love and stability and stableness but it looks like there may be a visitor that may cause some kind of shock and surprise okay Yes, because we see it looks like someone is arriving there. Let's go further. Let's use this deck to clarify further. How does Pisces love it? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Pisces love it? Just feel like Pisces romantically. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see, yeah, healthy choices coming up. So some choices coming up, guys, that you're going to have to make in the current, which is going to surprise you. Uh, it's going to take you by surprise, okay? Yeah, someone has been looking at your pictures, okay? Reminiscing. Yeah, the focus right now is on your abundance here. And I feel like the reason why, this is the card of I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to be made a fool out of. I feel like Spirit's like, no, hold, you'll be able to hold on to the situation. You won't feel foolish because there's abundance coming in for you. Yes, Cupid's arrow hit you in the past here and it took you by surprise. All right, so there's some avoidance issues that's part of the blockage here, okay? So let's keep going further. How does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So it's like, I'm trying not to, to deal with this today. But man, I'm in love with you and I really want some abundance here and I keep looking over your pictures, I keep reminiscing about the situation. I'm ready to make some healthy choices here. I'm stressing, stressing, but I'm hopeful of a positive outcome because of a soulmate connection and a relationship 
It seems like in the past I had to be patient and now I have regrets about being patient here. So it looks like they're gonna come forward here towards a commitment because there's obsessions about contacting you. So let's go further. Pisces, I just wanna put these aside for a second here. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I'll put this aside here. And let's take a look at your, your advice and the influence involved with this and also their feelings. Okay, so the influence is something to do with an ending. So let's see the feelings. Five of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, High Priestess, and this Knight of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck, I want your attention. I'm gonna reach out and flirt with you. I've had a lot of passion and chemistry towards you. I've been juggling a decision here. I've got some advice and I wanna speak my truth. Okay, so let's go forward there on this. So the advice is you are not going to miss an opportunity or you need to examine, do you really want this offer that's gonna be presented? or? For some of you, they also may be saying that you have a lot of opportunities and options coming in. So let's clarify that. Mirror, there's some kind of reflection going on here. You gotta reflect on the situation of your own old wounds and um, really look at this deeply here. Okay, and the influence is the death card, which could be to do with an ending of relationship, right? Something to end it, something that's gonna re be reborn, a new beginning's coming in, and we see love as the influence. Going further, there's gonna, you need to have some heart to heart conversations of the reflections that you had about the situation mm, and chemistry and passion and uh, yes, passion and exercises is the influence for the romantic love life. All right, so going further. So Pisces, it looks like this person has a lot of regrets with the five of cups energy, okay? They have regrets and they do want things to move in their favor and you make them completely happy. They can see a future with you, okay? And they want to, you know, they want forgiveness for what happened. And they're kind of hoping that, <laughs> that things can be overturned. That's what I feel like here, overturned from what had happened before. Okay, so we see, yeah, we see the golden mirror, which talks about uh, love bombing, one-sided relationships. So they're, they're hoping that, you know, they have regrets about that. And, um, mm-hmm. They feel like they want to seduce you when the timing is right. <laughs> there you go, right there again, Pisces. Mm -hmm. So it's like they're going to take a gamble on the situation. Okay. Okay. Yes, because they want an opportunity here, Pisces. And they do feel like you're the best decision for them. But they do have uncertainty about where you uh, are as far as your feelings with them. So this person's gonna come forward because they wanna get clarity from you with the Ace of Swords energy. Because they wanna go past these boundaries, these challenges here, because they're ready to see the light in the tunnel. Your person is stressing, having a lot of anxiety, stressing about this, having a lot of self-doubt. Mm. They keep looking at your photograph, your picture, and reminiscing. <laughs> they're definitely um, self-indulging themselves uh, on your pictures there, okay? and they are keeping their worry and their self-doubts to themselves hidden. So we see that this person's trying to gain some kind of knowledge. Uh, they may be giving you some kind of apology or they want a reconciliation here. And they feel like they're, they're wanting to surprise you, shock you, or have some kind of breakthrough in the connection. Okay, your person just cannot stop thinking about you with the Four of Swords energy. And your person is like, okay, I'm just waiting for the right time here. Again, your person may feel like you are highly intuitive, that you're connected spiritually, or they're feeling some kind of signs from you. Yeah, uh, because of a karmic relationship. So, or they're trying to gain knowledge if there is a karmic relationship, or some kind of trigger here, or something that needs to be let go, okay? So your person's kind of like um, slow walking things with the Knight of Pentacles energy because there may be someone that could be a barrier for them. So your person feels like I need to make a decision very soon, but I'm defensive here because I don't know if I can be completely honest 
or there's uh, something deceptive about the situation. So I want to get more information here, Pisces. What else does Pisces need to, okay. You know, this, this reading is a lot about passion exercise with this person, okay. You see intimacy and wanting to spend time with you and having a silver lining there about that, okay. What else does Pisces need to know about their situation with their love interest that they don't know that they need to know? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. So yeah, this really does make sense, this reading. Considering the fact, what is the next uh, lunar eclipse in? Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, and what is Scorpio the sign of? Passionate exercise, okay. Mm -hmm. So this person does feel like you're a part of their life purpose, and they do want forgiveness. They wanna give you an apology, and they do feel very... <laughs> Pisces, they definitely are feeling you passionately. They feel you're very sexy, okay? Very attracted to you. Mm, there you go again. <laughs> Okay, there's the other card there that points to the fact that this person uh, wants some passion exercises. Okay, okay. All right, what else? What else does Pisces need to know about their situation that they don't know that they need to know? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see there's going to be something uh, unexpected, a surprise coming in for you guys because of travel, movement, or change. Something big is gonna change here because of this person feeling really bad and, and having a lot of dark thoughts. There's a hopeful energy here, and we see again, a gift, a giving energy, a surprise, because this person wants to have a debate with you, okay, about this loss that they have, um, and they want that to change, because mm -hmm. they want your attention and they want to get together, um, they want to go out, they want to have a date here, okay? Spend some time with you at a house, oh, okay. Uh, for a good outcome. You know, <laughs> oh, let's move on to, um, this is a very straightforward person, that's for sure. Okay, all right, okay. What does your love interest want to say to you, Pisces? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards and need to see. Okay. I wonder if you're happy without me. So they're concerned that you may not be available and they are so attracted to you. Okay. I, I lost myself for a little while. And I feel like you're leaving me behind you were the best thing in my life. So they do feel like you are the best person, the best situation in their life. And they want you to know they're becoming a better person. Okay, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Considering, man, we are doing the, uh, I'm gonna be doing the lunar eclipse reading and that's the next reading that's coming up. So stay tuned for that. And obviously with the Scorpio energy, it deals with shocking surprises, secret relationships, secret affairs, okay? So all those kinds of things. So yes, that's coming up soon, guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.